want to talk about something called the liquidity discount. So um, liquidity is one of those terms that gets thrown around that most people don't really understand. Um, what people normally mean when they're talking about liquidity is the ability, uh, certainly from an investment standpoint, is the ability to get in and out of the investment relatively easily. So if I buy a hundred grand's worth of shares in your business, can I sell that hundred grand's worth of shares today or tomorrow or within a week or within a year or within 10 years? And the problem with most small to medium sized businesses is the answer is normally that it's gonna take a very long time to get liquidity on that position to be able to exit those shares. And so because of that, there is something called the liquidity discount. So when you look at the valuation that businesses trade at, you'll see that businesses that are liquid tend to get higher valuations than those that are illiquid. And how do you make a business liquid? Either it's a big business and there's a market for their privately held uh, shares, or it's a big business and therefore there's lots of people that are interested in buying it, or it's a public listed company where the shares are traded on either a multilateral trading platform, a secondary market as it's called, or a main uh, stock exchange or, uh, or market. And you'll often see that if you look at a really large public company and then it's private here, there could be quite a big disparity between those valuations. In fact, it could often be around 30% difference between the large public company and its private peer. Uh, what's really interesting is if you then look at a small private company in the same sector, that can be 10% of the value. So you can have the large public listed version at 30 times earnings and the small private company at three times earnings. And that's really a combination of the liquidity discount plus just the, the scale. Because with scale comes a larger audience of people that can potentially buy the business. That really then boils back to supply and demand. When there's an excess of demand, price goes up. And so larger companies have more demand, more people that, that can buy them, want to buy them. So as a result, price increases. And a lot of people, I think everybody understands that, that kind of basic economic principle, but very few people have translated that into the world of small business to really understand the arbitrage that exists between small private company valuation and large public company valuation. If you can turn a number of small private companies into a large public company, then you can benefit from that uplifting valuation, that arbitrage of valuation that exists between those small businesses and their large public peers.